Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, you know what that means. It's time for a market outlook on the channel. We're going to take a look at Foot Birthday, look ahead this upcoming week with the second team of Foot Birthday in packs, and the content sort of looking like that it's going to come to a close here, honestly, in the next two days with these Foot Birthday themed SBCs. Possibly what could be happening at the end of this week. Of course, we're not sure what could happen on Friday. Could there be a new promo? We'll talk about the potential of that. Since they're kind of stopping the foot birthday part, the SBC part of this promo kind of early, could they be teasing another promo starting uh, later on this week? Are they going to try to fit in something else before team of the season? That's all the sort of stuff we're going to be talking about today in this video, as well as the market, right? Because this Renato Sanchez is still out. We had the Eric Bailly SBC yesterday, which was not as well received. We'll talk about that. But a lot of people are still trying to grind for that Renato Sanchez. The market's crashed. Some of it is starting to rebound back. And I think this week, depending on the content that EA drops, we could continue to see some of that bounce back happen. So we'll talk about that today as well as look at some of the cards that are down and just talk about how we're trading in this market. I've actually flipped a few cards today. I've got some coins and cards right now with the panic selling that happens as the week and week sell off is happening. You see a lot of undercuts and a lot of cards get low on certain hours, especially if they're very rare, then they bounce back up. I bought both these Hollands at 420,000 coins. Those are very nice flips right there. I got this Lautaro Martinez at 215 and I got these Reina's at 645, 650, uh, he has not bounced back up yet. But this guy was 700 high, high 700,000 coins during the weekend. I bought this Freeze Mane at 1.2. This one was bought at 1.24. So some solid flips here, just on these rare special cards, right? And I think that's gonna be those cards and the icons this week are gonna be the name of the game if you wanna trade with out of packs material. But then of course the in packs, Foot Birthday 2, has gotten very cheap tonight, right? This happened last week with Foot Birthday Team 1. We had the Weekend League sell-off combined with some squad battle rewards, and you're seeing a lot of dropping prices within this team. Now, also, you're seeing a lot more supply on the market with these cards, too. Since that Weekend League is over, people are selling those cards or getting their coins, maybe in going doing SBCs, and you're seeing that supply increase because that Weekend League sell-off. And that is one thing I want to point out as well. We were, I was just looking at Adama, right? Adama, like all weekend, was extremely, extremely rare. And now you're looking at this card, and I'm seeing multiple pages of Adama Traore, foot birthday, under like 1.6 million coins. And this guy was at 1.8 million at his absolute highest. I mean, I'll search under 1.7 right here. We have two pages, right? This is a lot more supply than we had before. Now, granted, this card is still very, very rare with the supply that's come on the market tonight, right? A lot of first owner tradable cards being added in here uh, around the squad battle uh, time frame. So I do think, and this happened last week with Team 1, I think there's potential for a few of these cards to bounce back, um, even from tonight with Weekend League Rewards into the week a little bit. Now, I'm not entirely sure, obviously, what our content is going to be for today on Monday. I'm smelling, I'm really smelling that Icon SBC, the Upgrade Icon SBC Aroma, right? The one thing that kind of tips me off to that is that EA put out this 82 to 88 upgrade pack. Now, I can remember back to multiple FIFAs ago when they would have this 82 to 88 upgrade pack, even this year, out in the store during the time when they have Icon Upgrade SBCs out. They love this SBC when it relates to Icon Upgrades. Um, I think even a couple times this year, this SBC has been live when we have had either the mid or prime player pick or the pack, maybe even like the prime, the the um, the base pack or the mid pack repeatable up in or out in the game. This SBC has been out as well. So I feel like we've gone a while now without an actual icon upgrade SBC. I feel like there is potential as this promo is kind of ending for EA if they want to put out another SBC like that. We also have not seen that 83 to 89 SBC yet. And that would also be an SBC I think EA could put out if they were to release an icon upgrade. So again, yesterday on Sunday, we did get the 82 to 88, the 83 plus double upgrade return as well. So obviously EA is thinking, hey, you can do the 82 to 88. Keep the big cards for SBCs. Put the low rated ones into this double 83 and test your luck with that. We have the current team league upgrade that's expiring in three days. But that SBC, of course, is just, it's not that good. Uh, and then, of course, today on Monday, we are expecting a brand new foot birthday player SBC. But we are kind of knowing who this is already, right? With the Atletico Madrid badge that was changed from Valencia on Friday when it first dropped, we are thinking about 
Condogbia today. Condogbia should be the SBC. And automatically, there's interesting links because, you know, you've got Joao Felix, you have Carrasco. Um, and I'm, I know I'm forgetting a lot of those Atletico Madrid special cards this year. But Atletico Madrid has gotten a lot of special cards this year. There's a lot of links that you could get. I mean, we had the Hermoso last week in team uh, number one of Fabirte. That'd be a card I'd keep my eyes on because people are starting to invest in that and have been investing in that card for the links to Condogbia that could be today. So just keep an eye on that SBC. Another midfielder, right? We've had Vidal, we've had Renato Sanchez, and now it looks like Condogbia. So they're kind of covering through the leagues, you know, Syria, uh, Ligue 1, and now uh, La Liga for a midfielder, a defensively minded midfielder. And then of course, that Dutch foot 20 SBC is supposedly St. Juste, the center back from Mines. I think he plays for, uh, but that is going to be a Bundesliga center back with Dutch links. So that could be pretty interesting right there. Now, of course, a lot of people were saying, oh, we're going to get Ben Yedder for foot 20. That's actually not happening, or it looks like it's not happening. Um, so that's kind of one thing to keep in mind there. But those should be the two SBCs that we see later on this week. And again, I know I mentioned the Icon SBC. I really do feel like we will see and Icon SBC this week. And speaking of that, let's take a look at some of the SBCs that are out. Of course, this Eric Bailly card is just uh, is not one that a lot of people are interested in, right? This one, I'm going to compare it to Mangala. Honestly, the SBC hype around this card, 245,000 coins. The acceleration is not there. He got a five-star weak foot boost, you know, 3,500 dislikes on this player. And for me, that shows that people aren't very interested in this card. Now, maybe some, you know, Man United fans are going to do that for their untradeable club just to have a cool card. But as you can see, 86s went down yesterday um, with that SBC being released and just not a lot of hype in general, which made some of those other SBCs cheaper. You have 83s that are up on the, on the high note right now at 2.9K a piece. 84s are cheap. All right. I'm going to say this right now. 84s are pretty cheap. This could get very interesting. 7 to 8K for some of these cards. And maybe you look at some of those cards like Sule and Alaba, you know, higher rated ones that get better links. Some of this fodder is, again, getting a little bit lower, right? 86 is 27K. That's that's decently low. 36K for 87s. You know, some of this stuff is down a little. 89s are still up some, uh, and so are 90s. But a lot of this fodder is just kind of chilling, right? I feel like if we do get an Icon SBC this week, yes, some people have still invested in that fodder. But the longer that we go without an Icon Upgrade SBC, this fodder is just kind of kind of mellow out a little bit. And um, it's going to be a big boom when we do get some sort of Icon SBC. Now, speaking of SBCs, we have already had a foot birthday party bag added to the code, a new one that was released last week on Thursday, I think it was. I 100% think we are getting that SBC again this week. I don't know if it's going to be today on Monday, if they'll do it like Monday and a Thursday drop this week. Last year during foot birthday, I think they dropped the party bag or the guaranteed foot birthday uh, pack. It might have been two or three times. So I would not be surprised if we get a party bag this week, at least one of them. So that could be a potential if you want to look out for some of those 84 rated cards. I do believe the 84 rated spiked pretty significantly when that party bag came out. So the 83s, 84s, and 85s, you know, maybe even some of the 86s. I still have my club stock uh, that I have. I've actually got it on my transfer list because if I put it in my club, then I'm going to be very tempted to do Renato Sanchez. So I'm not looking to do Renato Sanchez just yet because he does not fit my team at all. But, you know, maybe if I get some more untradeable fodder in the club, I might try to complete him because that is just going to be a legendary SBC for FIFA 20. But let's talk about this foot birthday team too. Let's talk about prices for this and then the rest of the market and how you can be trading this week in FIFA. Now, again, these cards are getting pretty low tonight with that supply. They're dropping down. I do expect some of these cards to bounce up into the daytime on Monday. Now, if we don't get any big time SBC, they could continue going up. Now, my number one example from last week is this Sonic card. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the the graph here, but it says he hit a low of Monday last week of 1.05 mil. I remember vividly last week that the Sonic car was very, very close to a mil on Monday, and he bounced back up on you know Monday after the content drop, and almost into Tuesday, I think it was, back up to almost 1.1 mil, where he then he dropped a little bit off after that because like Vidal came out and stuff. But you're going to see some more short-term fluctuations on these cards because these are still very rare items. A lot of people want to try them out, especially Awar, Kent, Tomori, Adama, Sterling. These guys are really rare, right? They're really rare, and a lot of people want to get in on them and try them out, especially with the League One links and the um, for, for Gunter. I think this card is very interesting, right? I'm getting Sambia vibes 
from this card right here. So maybe if this card gets down to like the 80,000 coin range, uh, like Samia did, later this week at some point with some supply you know this card's already down a bunch and the links that he provides are incredible right left back with the german links in the bundesliga especially with royce that just came out that's huge right that is a huge sbc that a lot of people are interested in so i'm really keeping an eye on that card even from like a lower tier perspective and i want to talk about atal for a second here too man because i just want to make this known uh, to a lot of you guys, since this is still sitting on the Xbox market at 618k, and this is extinct at 750, I know this guy has a lot of hype, but again, almost every single time when they have cards like this that they put in the game, that they have a price cap on, and especially when it's extinct on PlayStation, maybe extinct on PC, and on Xbox, it's still on the market. This to me, when they update Atal's price range, let's say like 1.2 mil or whatever, yes, he might shoot up for a quick quick second after they update that price range, but I think after that, you're gonna have a lot of people that relist and undercut, and you know he could rebound back above 750 after that because there is a lot of hype for this card, specifically with the links to Renato, to Ben Yedder, to Awar, that are in this game right now, um, but you know, for a short-term thing, if you've got one of these that you bought on Friday at like 650k and you're trying it out, I would take the cash at 750. I I do not like relying on EA to update these price ranges. And also, I don't know if this is you know public knowledge for a lot of you guys, but uh, you know, a lot of people get upset when when price ranges don't get upgraded because they think, yeah, man, it's just somebody EA is is holding back at updating that price range. Well, there could be a bit of truth to that, but honestly, when what happens when EA actually update price ranges is it's just kind of like how they do the banning system, right? If something flags their um, their system, like they have a system in place, or I guess you could call it a bot almost, that updates the price ranges once the algorithm hits a certain trigger that says, okay, this needs to get upgraded to a new level. So at least at this point with this Atal card, and we've seen it many different times this year, since it is an automated prog process, we don't know like what the what it is, like what trigger has to be tripped for that to be upgraded. But you remember like Bruno Fernandez headliner card that was extinct for such a long time before I got upgraded. So that could very easily happen with Atal this week. Um, and that's why if you got him really cheap or if you have on your team uh, and you know, maybe you're afraid that his price drops and you're just trying him out, you're not gonna keep him in your team for long term. Maybe you do take the cash on that because I do think that after he gets the price range update, especially if we get bigger SBCs this week, right? If we get some big time icon SBCs sees or there's a new promo coming or you know i don't even know what it could be but if we start to get some information about a new promo and there's any panic that comes out then he's going to start getting listed because there i think there are some investors involved with that card right there but just like we saw with team one of foot birthday i'm kind of eyeing a thursday timeline for the cheapest time to look into these cards. I really think Thursday could be the buy time unless EA literally drops no content this week except for the foot um, birthday player SBCs. I feel like all of these cards have to drop a little bit more because they're just not very supplied and I don't know what else EA have up their sleeve for later this week. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on them. I might try to flip one or two of these guys into the morning today on Monday. We'll see if I can get a sick price on, uh, on any of these cards. Like Sterling is still very, very rare. If Adama drops down to 1.5, man, I mean, this card I'm hearing is literally incredible. So if this guy's down to one five flat, I might get interested, try him out for a game or two in like, I don't know, some friendly mode or something, and then and then list him back up. But I'm hearing that a lot of these full birthday cards are cracked, and I think there's a lot of demand for them. So that is something I would keep an eye on. Of course, out of pack stuff as well. That's the stuff that I've been trading with, and this stuff fluctuates like mad, especially with weekly sell-off. Some of the stuff is still down from the weekly. I mean, look at Lucas, 839. Sane is down under a million coins as well. This hit like 810. I actually watched it on Sunday for a slight bit. Went down to 810K, then it rebounded almost back to 900 right after the content drop and is now coming back down. So I do think you'll see some of this stuff rebound up. And regardless, it's just going to be rare and it's going to fluctuate and it's going to be good and fun to trade with this week. These out of pack special cards. And I would also give you a slight note here. Watch out for this team of the week, right? This Usman has got a lot of, of desire, a lot of demand. I don't know why I said desire. Demand's the right word. Under 300K for that card. Kimmich at 390, that's very cheap. This guy was selling at 540K pre-Renato with all the Bundesliga links being hyped. 
This card, I mean, if you can get this in like the 370s, possibly on like PlayStation, he was 357 before content today, rebounded to 415. So I think this card's going to be in like the 4, 450 range this next week if nothing crazy happens. Uh, you know, so some of this team of the week is going to get overlooked, but there's some really high players in there that you can make a speculative investment on if you wanted to. And then other than that, I've already started to see some stuff rebound back on the market. A lot of people have started to invest in Road to the Final cards. Yes, because we have Champions League games coming this week. So we've got some cards that are still low. Like this Varane was just 158. That must have been a big undercut. Cancelo is up. He was like 350. He's now 399. Pogba is actually down right now. But for some of these cards that have games this week, right? We've got City and Dortmund on Tuesday along with Real Madrid and Liverpool. And then on Wednesday, we have Porto, Chelsea, and then Bayern, PSG. Then, of course, on Thursday, we have the Europa League games uh, playing um, this week. So that's 100% a place where I would look to be trading. And this might be some sort of like a slightly overlooked area of the market right now, because I feel like some of these cards are still pretty low, especially some of these Europa League guys. Bruno Perez, 243. That's pretty low, right? I mean, imagine that card with another upgrade after this next round could be pretty insane. This hazard was down at like 930 today. So he is already up a bit, but not up like crazy. Um, you know, Gabriel Jesus was 700k flat. He is rising up a decent amount right now. So one place I would really watch this week is these road to the finals. And honestly, I would watch some of your icon midfielders as well, because these guys are still rare and they continue to fluctuate. You guys know that I bought this for 1.3 million and I sold it at 1.2 this morning. Now, obviously right now he's starting to bounce back. He's 1.26. He was 1.1 earlier today with people trying to complete Renato last second. This Essien car was 165 this morning. I think right now he's in the 1.7 mids. So there's still a lot of the prices have dropped on a lot of these midfielders like Javi as well, but Javi was not selling at 1.2 mil this morning. Now he's up to 1.3. So, I mean, some of these prices are 100% starting to round, rebound back after the player picks have gone. I think the big thing is people are not spamming their coins and, you know, submitting tons of coins right now for untradeable player picks. And that's the biggest change with what has happened in the last two days with this market. And I think because of that, you're going to start to see some of this market bounce back. Uh, like I, I mentioned, I, tr I traded with two of these freeze Mane's. Just a very, very rare card that is also in high demand because he is a very meta card, very good in this game, and he has that position change to striker and a sick dynamic image and juice st uh, stats. So that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking at this week with the fluctuations, your Dortmund links, your German links, your um, interlinks with the Vidal, of course, your League One stuff. Like I'm kind of eyeing this Ben Yedder card, especially now that we're not getting a Ben Yedder SBC. This guy was almost a million coins coins earlier today uh and now i'm i pretty believe he's down he was down at 919 but he's already bounced back to 980 so maybe that was a footbin undercut that i saw uh but some of this league one stuff is going to be in demand the french links and but still the bundesliga links with the royce the german links of course with the podolski with the ozil people are still rocking those cards in their teams uh so even though it's not the most hype right now there's still some links there that i think you can see some rebounding prices on later this week. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market this week in FIFA. If you have any questions, of course, drop it down below. But that is the Monday market outlook, my dudes. If, again, if you enjoyed it, hit a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.